Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Out of Hand Overview. The title is very appropriate because everything is out of hand here. <laughs> the devs that have that much imagination to create something so crazy is very commendable. <laughs> Especially in this day and age that being unique is kinda hard to come by and you need to come up with the concept so out of there that it's gonna not only please everyone but be understandable. <laughs> so Out of Hand is a high energy platforming adventure game where you get transported to the hand people world that need immediate help to save their kin from Dr. Vanderbom in a high octane high paced movement gameplay. What I instantly appreciate is that it's not only just moving around and exploring the area but in the midst of that you literally get into the full on brawls and fight with everything that tries to come at you. The graphics while cartoony, they seem pretty much understandable, though a little bit foggy or blurry in the distances, like maybe it's something about the drawing distance that is hard to like handle by the hardware. Personally, and I guess it's just me, but I'm not a fan of arm swinging mechanics I like Gorilla Tag and all the others. It was always a struggle for me to understand who really enjoys that type of gameplay. There are some high hopes that this game might change that because its implementation might be more convenient while mixing the combat, the movement, the interactions, like cohesiveness might be the key. Seems just crazy all across the board, which is exactly my brand. I think regardless of my impressions or my preferences, this might be a pretty good release. Let's go to gameplay. There are different hand people, okay. I thought it's only one species. Oh! Hey, don't move me! Happy birthday, subject, and welcome to the Vendel family. You are the newest and proudest member of Dr. Vendelbaum's extended family. As part of our family, you will be responsible for carrying the great Dr. Vendelbaum's legacy into the wide world. This will be your honor to unflinchingly obey whatever Dr. Vendelbaum requires from you. As part of his extended family, you will be tasked with important duties, such as saving orphans, puppies, and prophets. You will be fighting for justice, liberty, freedom, and a few other celebrities. Causes. You will most certainly not be working for a tyrannical overlord, a greedy dictator, or a sociopathic billionaire. You, dear subject, will only engage in morally unambiguous tasks, and any dereliction of your responsibilities will be met with swift punishment. Yes, you only need to obey. <laughs> Remember, dear subject, thinking is difficult and should only be left to those with a cerebral capacity to undertake such an arduous task. Should you find yourself thinking, kindly report to the nearest unthinker unit. Warning, cerebral functions above allowed parameters. Rerouting subject to termination. No! <laughs> Hello there. Don't panic, but I, I couldn't help but notice that you've got a full brain, which is exactly what I need. I'm cancelling your, um, liquidation. Now, it might get a little bumpy, but don't worry. You should survive. Oh, Lord. <laughs> They're already going with commotion here. Oh, good, you're alive. Let me see how we get you out of there. Mm, let's try this. Punch the glass. Oh, I'm literally on the floor, okay. Remember, violence isn't the solution. It's the answer. <laughs> so we have different pressure depending how strong we put our hands on the floor. I wish there would be subtitles. I was checking the options, but oh, I don't think there were. We can hang from the ledges. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. We don't normally get to walk on our hands freely like this. Take your time to get accustomed to how your body moves. It can be a bit tricky in the beginning. Because we can either like push ourselves on then punch stuff. Oh, sorry.
What was that? Like flying? Jesus, this is intense. But it's better to have your hands like behind you. That's how you push yourself, not really in front, because you don't move. Eh? No, there's a mirror. I wish I would grab things though, like for more control. Welcome to the Vendel family. Okay. Everyone can play this, essentially. Oh, wait. This place is called Vendeldoom. And if that doesn't spring up any nasty thought associations, then I don't know what will. We're here for the profit and amusement of Dr. Vendelbaum. When you jump, this indicator where you land. That's interesting. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> we see the mechanics. I mean, the movement is not too bad, considering I hate Gorilla Attack specifically with the mechanics. Like, this is okay. The mind controlled Max abound to the security system. Even spinning out, this guy holds the door on a lock. It seems like you'll have to fight your way to get to me here at the control center. <laughs> In terms of the graphics, yeah, this is lower quality than I saw in the trailer. Some fog going on, some blur, but could be a lot worse. I can't actually grab, right? No, okay, it's just pushing. But I'm doing fine. I do like stick to the surfaces. It's very sensitive. <laughs> Stop following me. Oh, this is nice. The Glimpers are a side project for the Doctor. He says they remind him of himself, as he, uh, always has to clean up after everyone else. Although I've never seen him cleaning. <laughs> it's a cute tutorial. Also, the transition with the combat and movement, pretty smooth. Enough to give us some airtime and even control the direction we're moving while in the air. 
It can be very relaxing to let loose in the air sometimes. But do keep your meter in check. This is still a facility with dangerous materials all over. Sometimes you can do some unexpected movements. Oh my god. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> the angles. Stop it. <laughs> Because going slow is like not necessarily optimal, I guess. Or maybe. The perspective is pretty funky. Get out. No, no, actually help me. <laughs> I wonder if there's like auto aim of movement, some kind of maybe a little bit. Stop it. <laughs> that almost reminds me of you, Peter Garden. Mechanics. How to get this? No. Whoa. <laughs> Probably have to like bounce off the wall. So close. Hiya. I just had to sedate him. He'll be a massive help for you when you bust him out. Bust him out. It's like I can prolong the jump when I say I'm not gonna land where I want. Oh, and sometimes you activate it by accident. Sometimes it's just better to see where you end up.
Oh, come on. <laughs> Call right. Two are better than one. Punch him out of there. Hello? Not you. <laughs> Job. Now that the two of you... Where are you going? Frank? Frank! What is he doing? Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> patch, patch, patch. Okay, in hindsight, I probably should have talked with him a bit more. Okay, but I think this is a good moment to finish it. I mean, the game is cool, considering like the mechanics that. I'm not very used to and the combat and stuff. I do wish there would be like subtitles just for the clearance of the voices. Also maybe grabbing the ledges and the walls. Because I know my hands are sticky. So I'm kind of like sliding. Then grabbing would prove that you have more control over your moves. Besides that the graphics should be kind of adequate to the quest version and overall the game is pretty fun like very unique something I've never seen before in that combination and if I want to play it more we'll have to see there's a big catalog of stuff to do but this ain't half bad 